All right, in this video, we're looking at similar triangles. And similar triangles are triangles that they have the same angles and their sides are all proportional. And so they look similar. So this angle right here, B, is the same as E, A is the same as D, and C is the same as F. So these triangles are similar. And so what we're trying to do here is figure out, we know the length of AB is 12, we know the length of DE is 4, and we know the length of AC is 21. So we're trying to find this length, DF. And if these triangles are similar, it means they're proportional. So what that means is if you doubled one side in one triangle, you have to double all the sides to get the other triangle. Like you're stretching it by the same amount or shrinking it by the same amount. So one way to solve these is by finding out this proportionality constant. So how much are we multiplying by to go from one triangle to the other? So from this triangle to this triangle, it's shrinking. So the question is, what are we multiplying by to go from 12 to 4? And the way we do this is we just divide the numbers. So it's obviously going to be a number smaller than 1. You can't multiply something by 12 and get 4 by multiplying by, you know, by something bigger than 1. So all you really do is divide. So 4 divided by 12 is 1 third. So your proportionality constant is 1 third. It means when you take 12 and multiply by 1 third, you get 4. So that is the proportionality constant when you go from the left triangle to the right. So that means any time you have a side on the left triangle, to get the equivalent side on the right triangle, you're going to multiply by one-third. So if this length is 21 and I want to find this length, I'm going to multiply by one-third. So 21 times one-third is 7. So this is going to have a length of 7. And again, it's proportional. So go the other way, you'd be tripling it. So 7 times 3 is 21, 4 times 3 is 12. So that's more evidence that these are proportional. So this is one method to solve these, is to find exactly what you're multiplying to get these to work. So let's look at another example. Here, BC is 20, so there's 20. EF is 5. DE is 2, and we're trying to find AB. So it might be easier to go this way, Start with the right triangle and compare to the left. So what are we multiplying by from the right triangle to get to the left triangle? So we're going from 5 to 20. So what do you multiply 5 by to get 20? Now you might be able to do this in your head, but again, it's just a matter of dividing. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. So to go from the right triangle to the left triangle, you're multiplying by a factor of 4. So to go from this side, ED, over to this one, we're also going to multiply by 4. So this length here must be 8. And that is how we compare similar triangles using the proportionality method. Um, so if you like this method, use this method. Uh, if you don't like this, we're going to use in another video, we're going to look at how to do it with ratios. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.